I ended up having to tie all my doors together. It felt like they were going to rip off. We just had a bad feeling. You know, sometimes you have that gut feeling, and we never thought it would be like this. It looks like a bomb went off. Your survival mode kind of hits in, right? Every single property had destruction. From the time we knew the hurricane was coming, we started planning. And right away we started cooking and preparing meals because we knew people would be without electricity and they needed food. Then along comes Feed the Children with a program that will allow to sustain these families for the long term by receiving food boxes with non-perishable items. We can get these food boxes periodically out into the community as needed so it provides the long-term support for these families, not just in the first week of the crisis, but for months to come. And we are so grateful that Feed the Children is a proactive organization looking to where it can make the biggest impact. There are people who come to us who have nowhere else to turn to, especially during times of disaster. Having those extra resources really helps take some of the burden off of them. And so food, definitely number one, and non-perishable items that they can keep for a long period of time because they don't know when that electricity and power will come back on. Collaborations are so key, especially in a crisis, and Feed the Children has always been there for us whenever there was a crisis in our community. Bringing a food box to somebody reminds them that somebody greater than themselves, somebody bigger than themselves is looking out for them, and that we want to be part of that. And with Feed the Children, we can do that and instill hope for folks that have lost it.